I was, I can't even talk. Oh my God. What a great episode to watch on Valentine's Day. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today is Vikings Day. We are watching season three, episode six. This one is called Born Again. Uh, super excited just to get started and jump in here. The last episode was, the ending was crazy twist. Like I did not see that coming at all. If you haven't watched that one yet, go ahead and click here and give that a watch. <laughs> Yeah, nuts. Um, and then come back and watch this one with me, my friends. I would love to have you join me for Vikings. If you wanna watch these episodes or any other thing I'm watching with me in full, you can check all of those full unedited reactions out on my Patreon. I'll leave the link below. And there's also shows over there that I only watch on Patreon and bonus content and more. So if you're interested, go check it out. I would love to have you, my friends. I think that's about it. I just want to get right into this. I'm brewing some tea. So once that's done, I'm going to go get it. And um, we will start this episode. I'm so excited. All right. Grab your coffee, your tea, or your water. My tea is brewing, but I do have water. So let's go ahead and get started with this episode, my friends. Skull! <laughs> By the way, okay, I was at the movies, like this was months ago, and they were playing a preview for a new show, and I do not know what it was, I totally forgot. But they were playing this theme song, this music. It wasn't Vikings, because I was like, what, I know this song, you know? I know this song, it was not Vikings. I don't know what it was, but they stole the theme song. Vikings. But it arrives here. <laughs> and it widens. Like making a it widens around this island. Mud pies and, and on this island castles when you were a kid. Is Paris. How did they get into this city? There was a bridge. At least one. Like this. I would say this city is impregnable. <laughs> I just love them. I love them so much. Oh, the baby's coming. Be long now. Aww. I'll be weak, deformed. Maybe you will love it just the same. She struck a nerve there. It is a girl. Oh, it's a girl. She's adorable. Oh my God, if they named her Gita, oh. that would just be too much. She needs a name, your beautiful daughter. And Lakitha's a grandma. I would like to call her Siggy. Aw, that's sweet. Siggy, Siggy. You saved the sons of Ragnar. <laughs> That's cute too. I would have preferred Gita, but you know. That Siggy's a good name too, to honor her. Do Vikings have two names, a first and middle, and then the last name? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> ah. Whoops! <laughs> this man is a farmer. He has some that was hilarious. Oh, oh he's going to learn about Wessex. Aethelwolf came one day with his nobles and soldiers. Killed, burned, and destroyed all our settlement. So he found out pretty quick. All our men, their wives, and their children. <sighs> Only a few of us survived. So what is he going to do? Darby's... Is still going to go to Paris, or is he going to go to Essex? So my eldest son died before my eyes. <sighs> this adventure was doomed from the start. We ignored the warnings of the gods. It 
the wolf and his father well, for the wrath of the gods. And Athelstan. Athelstan has nothing to do with this. What about Athelstan? Athelstan persuaded us to deal with Egbert and the Christians. Oh, God. Now you must see the truth, Ragnar. No. It was all a trap. He was conned too. Athelstan is not to blame, Loki. No, he's not. If anyone is to blame, it is me. Do you understand? <sighs> Floki, don't do anything stupid, please. I just have you told anyone else about this? No one might. There's no way that Ethelstan knew. There's no way. Like he's been conning Ragnar all these years. There's just no way. I can't um even think that. God, I hope they don't go that way. I hope they don't go that way. Now you can be with your family. Okay. I did not see that coming. He doesn't want anybody else to know. Well, Floki knows. What's he gonna do about Floki? Oh, hello, Ragnar. You could have had sex with him in front of the children for all I care. Just as long as you were watching out with him. Ah! Shit. Sleep well, my darling. Oh boy. What is it? Okay, I'm really scared. I'm really, really scared for Athelstan. Oh no, what happened? What happened? Please tell me he's okay. Here is Jeez. your new son, my lord Aethelwolf. Oh no. Does he know it's not his? Oh yeah, he does know it's not his kid. Oh my god. Boy, congratulations. Please tell me he doesn't hurt the baby. I mean, I'm so paranoid with this freaking. Oh no. You must come with us to with the place this, appointed. Oh, with this address. episode. It is by the king's order. Oh god, what? Get your hands off me! This whole episode, I'm so nervous. <laughs> My children need me. What are they doing to her? Oh no. Oh God. Oh God. Are they gonna burn her? What are they doing? You have been found guilty of adultery against your lawful husband. <laughs> You refuse to admit the offense. But we find sufficient evidence to exercise the punishment advocated by the Holy Book. Which is? That your ears and nose be cut off. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus never advocated such barbarism. Please. Oh, God, this poor girl. This poor girl. <sighs> Yet the guys can sleep with whoever they want, right? Oh, God, is he going to stop it? I don't like him, but if he stops it, please. Will you not give us the name of the father of your child? So if she gives the name, then they'll stop? Or what? Uh, 
What do you mean it was Athelstan? What, yes, what just give the name. By that? <laughs> they can't hurt Athelstan. I mean, unless he goes to Wessex. Athelstan is the father of my child. No! Uh, I, I cannot blame my daughter-in-law for being attracted to such see? a man as God. See? See? She already got her ear cut off, dude. In my own mind, there is no doubt of Athelstan's deep spirituality and his close connection to God. You think that God had a hand in this conflict? I thought they already knew it was Athelstan. I do, my son. Does he really think this? Like, does he really like Athelstan? I'm so confused with this king. First, he acts like he loves the Vikings and Athelstan. And then he totally betrays them. And then now... There will be a christening after all. <laughs> the boy's name will be Alfred. Oh, Alfred. Wait, is this... Wait. Is that Alfred from The Last Kingdom? He's alive. That's good. Oh, God, I can't. This episode is gonna... It's gonna kill me. What's wrong? Can he? Oh my God, is he blind? What's wrong? He can't see. Oh my God, what, what happened? Lord, praise the Lord. I've asked for a sign and you've given me a sign. I'm reborn. <laughs> <laughs> so is he gonna go back to being a monk now is that what this is about whether they be thrones powers or dominions by the way i don't know why i never noticed you. before but ethelstan got some abs on him oh no Oh no. Oh no, Floki's gonna think he really did betray them because of that. Ragnar! I see you smiling. <laughs> the Lord has come to me. Your God? Yes. What did he look like? <laughs> I felt his presence. What did he look like? Did he speak? No, he did not speak, and yet I heard his voice. And I'm born again. He's gonna leave her. Huh? Then you are a Christian again. With all my heart. I can no longer acknowledge your gods. Mm. I suppose it is better that I leave Kathegat now. What do you mean you cannot leave? You cannot leave me! I love you. Aww. You're the only one I can trust, so you must stay. I'm happy that you have found your God. He doesn't care if you're a Christian. Though the other people, the other Vikings might. I will protect but... you. It does not matter where I go. What matters to me is where you're going. This is Atherstan's sacred armory. And I saw him throwing it into the fjord. Have you told Ragnar? What's the point? What are you going to do, Floki? I'm going to leave Kattegat. Good idea. Tell our brothers about this. <sighs> no. I join you in the expectation of the greatest raid of the history of our people. <laughs> Who's this chunk of meat? This is Earl Siegfried. This chunk of meat. I put my ships and my warriors at your disposal. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that you remember King Horik's son. That guy. And the widow of Jarlborg. You can't trust him. I'm a little caught off guard seeing you here. Yeah, there was a reason you spent my life. I have to ask, how's the settlement in Wessex? Good. 
Does he know? Ragnar always looking, always Don't creeping. It's been a long time. He needs to be with me. He needs to be with you. Don't do this. You don't understand. I am doing this because I want you to be happy. Didn't she just have a baby? <laughs> I don't think she could have sex anyway. Ethel Stan. Oh no. Oh no, does everybody know? <sighs> Seriously. Where is your arm ring? Where is it? Ragnar, you need to step in. Um, I know I have to stand to leave, but I think to be safe, he probably might have to leave. But I don't think he's going to be safe in Wessex either. So you know what? He should probably just... If he goes to Wessex, I don't think he'll be safe there. Because Ethel Wolf is probably going to want to kill him. And probably some other people. If he stays here. Many of the Vikings are not happy with him. But he's protected by Ragnar. At least in his presence. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he should do. This is... And he better not fucking die, I'm telling you right now. I will... I will... I'll be pissed. This will not be good. Oh, okay. Is he see Is he seeing things? He has to be seeing things. Loki, what are you doing? I have had a sign. A sign for what? A sign that blood must be spilled. No. There's no blood. And now, my purpose is clear. What purpose? It is not for you to know. No. No, I know what you're gonna do. For a while, but no one must see me leave. And you must never tell anyone of my going. Do you swear? Do you swear? I didn't mean to hurt you. But I think you mean to hurt someone. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, God. I don't want to, I don't want to watch. I'm scared. Floki. Oh God. No, no. Hold on, I have to pause this. Are you kidding me? I couldn't tell how bad he was like hit, but I hate when they do this. I don't know if he's actually dead, but I'm going to assume he's dead. Are you kidding me? If he's actually dead, are you kidding me? And then they just keep going with the episode? Seriously? All right, I don't know. Let's find out. I'm in denial until I actually, until it's actually said that he's dead.
Who the fuck is... Oh, that's the guy that he... And I can't even focus. I can't even focus on the rest of this. Ragnar, why did you leave? The things I do for you. But it was like he was expecting Floki to kill him, you know? Like he's like Floki. Like he knew he was going to come. Such a little man, Did he want to die? Or... Terribly heavy. Wait, what did he say? Ethelstan? Is that Ethelstan? I what, I'm I'm confused. This is as close to your god as I can get you. Oh, I thought that was the guy that he killed. Is that Ethelstan? Oh, so Never he did die. I still don't. You're a brave man, Athelstan. Wait, they just skipped over him, like... I always respected Finding you that Athelstan had... had died? You saw yourself as weak and conflicted, but to me, you were fearless because you dared to question. Why did you have to die? We had so much more to talk about. We will never meet again, my friend. I have a feeling that your God might object to me visiting you in heaven. So he did die. Fuck. I hate you for leaving me. <sighs> I ache from your loss. There is nothing that can console me now. I am changed. So are you. Does he know who did it? I mean, I'm assuming he knows. I can't believe he, they killed him. Me, and he has friend. his cross. Not for what I have to. Why? Not for what I'm about to do. Uh, what is he gonna do? <sighs> I can't believe he's dead. It's just like now hitting me that he's dead. Oh my god. <sighs> I was in denial at first. I was, I can't even talk. Oh my God. I was like in denial that he was dead because I didn't think they would kill him off. I feel like you guys, I feel stupid for crying this much, but like, oh my god, I don't know. I may have to come back and do this later. I'm so mad and upset that they killed Ethelstan. He was, oh my god. You guys, I might have to, I just, I might have to give my thoughts on the next, when I, I might have to give you my thoughts on this episode, when I start the next episode, episode seven, because I just can't, I just can't talk right now. I can't, um, I can't think about what I want to say. I'm just really, I'm just really upset. Ugh, I'm sorry, guys. I think I'm going to go and, um, gather my thoughts. <sighs> Fuck. All right, I'm going to start crying again, so I'm going to go. All right. That was episode six. Six and a half hours later. I've calmed down. I've calmed down a little bit. 
I'm really going to try not to cry. I didn't want to wait till episode 7 because that would be too long. I grabbed my chocolates. That helps, right? For Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day, by the way. What a great episode to watch on Valentine's Day. If you're an Ethel Stan fan. Sorry I'm talking while I'm chewing, but I don't care right now. Episode 6. Am I in focus? Okay. Obviously, I was very upset over Ethel Stan's death. It's hard for me to say that. He was my favorite character. And now a part of me doesn't even want to watch the show anymore. I will, but a part of me doesn't want to. I'm just, I'm just really, really upset right now. I used to like Floki, and now I can't stand him. I honestly don't know what else to say. My heart is broken. The only good thing, or I will say this, I still have tea. I was so freaking nervous, I didn't even drink all my tea during the episode. I will say this, is Alfred the baby, Ethel Stan's baby, is Alfred the king from The Last Kingdom? You guys can tell me that, I don't, it's not spoilers for me. I've seen most of The Last Kingdom, I have not seen all of it. I think I stopped after season three or four, how many seasons are there, five? I think I stopped after season three or four. But yeah, I wanna know. If, uh, if that's him. And the only good thing in this freaking episode is that Ethelstan has a son. He at least got a son. And I know he wanted kids because he said to Ragnar, at least you have children. So he has a son. And if Alfred is who I think it is, he's going to have a son that rules England, Wessex. Um, I don't know what else I want to say about this episode. I think I'm going to go before I start crying again. <sighs> Sorry, I, there I wasn't able to talk much after this one, but uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the reaction nonetheless. I mean, it was a reaction, right? Shit. Anyway, I didn't, I forgot to do my, or I di didn't forget, I just couldn't do my closing the last time I was filming. So, um, Thank you all for watching with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did and you're not subscribed, please subscribe below. I would really appreciate it. If you want to check out the f <laughs> this full thing, God bless you, on Patreon. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, click my Patreon link below. Um, you can check out full episodes of all the shows that I'm watching and movie reactions as well coming up. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> I will say that um, I'm not going to be as excited to watch Vikings now, which I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that'll pass. Because like I said, he was my favorite character. And I was always excited to watch Vikings to see Ethel Stan and see Ragnar and Ethel Stan's relationship. <sighs> I just, I just don't know. I don't know why they did it. He was such a good part of the show. Please tell me that this show is still worth watching. <laughs> uh, I'm so pissed off with this show. Thank God Ragnar is still alive, but oh my God. You know what? It's like when I was watching The Walking Dead and they killed off a certain someone. I was literally so mad that I stopped watching it for four years. I'm not even kidding. I did eventually um, go back and finished it because I was like, at that point I had watched it for eight, uh, it had been on for like eight seasons. I had watched it. I was like, I've been watching this shit for eight years. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to finish it. That's what I do. I finish it. So I did eventually finish it. I'm glad I did. And by the way, <laughs> um, if you didn't know, our next Patreon show is going to be Those Who Live, I think is what it's called. But it's the story, the TV show for um, Michonne and Rick. I'm very excited about that. And that will only be on Patreon. So if you want to watch that, go um, 
click the link below for Patreon. But, um, yeah, I think that was, that was one of the only other times I was so pissed off that I just like stopped. I was like, I can't do it. I can't. The show has made me mad way too many times. I'll definitely um, finish this show. Don't worry. Don't worry. I will finish this show. I'm just, you know, I might need to take a week off of schedule for the next one. I'm not even kidding. Just to reset my mind. Just to get a little break. All right. All right. So those were some of my thoughts. I'm going to go. <laughs> All right. Bye friends. See you later. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'm going to go cry some more. Bye. If you lost a kill, you'd be a murderer. Maybe just a 